what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Chia Droid ROM and in my frank opinion this is totally my personal opinion again this is by far the best ROM that I have found for the Redmi Note 10 Pro. This ROM comes with two variants the vanilla and the GAPS variant. It has the new ANX camera 204 working perfectly fine on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and I don't know about the Pro Max, but even on the Note 10 Pro, it is working perfectly fine. So that is a huge thing in my opinion and it comes with that pre-built. So that is one of the best things that I have been expecting from a custom ROM and here we have it. Now if you look at the other change logs, you can see there is some other changes and stuff. But yeah, I have been daily driving this ROM, the GAPS variant again. So let me show you what I have experienced over here. So first of all, the home screen looks like this. The stock launcher here again is the CR Droid launcher. You can go to the split screen and stuff. This is the recent panel, of course. Now here, one thing that I have been noticing, if you take a screenshot or share the screen, the animation does not happen. Let me actually show you. If I am taking a screenshot, I'm pretty sure it is saving the screenshot, but it doesn't do the animation. This is one bug that I have been noticing. Other than this, I have never seen any kind of bugs or glitches in the UI. But yeah, this is one thing that I have noticed. But three finger screenshot gesture of course shows this animation and there is the long screenshot edit share and delete option that works without any issues. Talking about the stock launcher settings again, we have this misc settings and here we have all these hidden and protected apps and stuff. And in the app drawer, we have the background opacity and the show icon labels in drawer option. In the home screen settings, we have the show Google app in the home screen. And then we have the search bar and all those options like the double tap to sleep and stuff are still there so they are totally working fine i'll show you those if you go to the icons we have the icon size the font size and the max line for app label is there and we have the notification dot and the icon pack changing option again you can add different icon packs if you have them talking about the stock launcher again to the left we have the google's discover page they are working fine and of course 120 hertz i'm using everything is just buttery smooth if you're noticing so yeah swiping down anywhere in the home screen gets you to the quick setting panel and swiping up gets you to the app drawer and this is how it looks like you can search for any particular app from right here as you can see the home screen is perfectly smooth the stock launcher is working great widgets and stuff in the home screen are working perfectly fine double tapping anywhere in the home screen makes the phone sleep i don't have the always on display turned on but right now let me show you the frame scanner speed let me actually turn on the always on display for the time being now one thing that you will miss if you come from other roms to this rom that there is no android 12 kind of lock screen clock but that is totally fine in my opinion there is more clocks but yeah no android is dp3 kind of clocks that you will get over here so yeah those new clocks are simply missing from this ui but as you can see the fingerprint scanner speed is working perfectly fine no issues whatsoever the android version is android 11 of course and here the c android version is 7.10 the security patch is latest of september 5th 2021 and the stock kernel here if you're noticing this is the sigma kernel version 1.0 and the build date here is 30th september 2021 not quite october yet but yeah we will be waiting for the october build but yes this is the suite in of course the redmi note 10 pro indian unit so here at least the rom is working perfectly fine right now let me show you the quick setting panel and here is how it looks like and i have added and edited like a couple of toggles from here let me show you what i have added here we have the battery saver the dark theme and the screen recorder is there then the hotspot do not disturb data saver etc and the heads up disabling option is there nearby share and the always on display is there so you can turn on or turn it off and we have the do not disturb the fps info also shows up let me actually enable that and right now if you're noticing on the like left corner as you can see i'm getting 100 plus fps so yeah that is working perfectly fine if you tap on the reboot toggle of course it goes to this recovery mode now from here if i tap and hold on this toggle it will directly reboot into the recovery and if you don't know how to flash this particular rom you can check out the cards or the description for the how to flash guide and the volume panel also appears if you click on this as you can see so this is how the default volume panel looks like i guess or i don't remember if i customized it but yeah there are customizations of course for the volume panel too and you can see there is the clear all button for the notifications which i like enabled and we have the live display mode from here you can enable the night light if you want to but weirdly there is no descending option but i'm fine with it as you can see there are multiple options but the night light or the live display is actually there which is present in this live display toggle and if you click on the power menu this is how the power menu looks like you can have the advanced reboot from right here as you can see you can directly reboot to the recovery or fast boot from here and the google smart home controls are totally working perfectly fine no issues with that let me go back and go into the settings here in the system this is how it looks like everywhere in the ui i have been noticing there are multiple animations like this on the top 
you are seeing and if I go into the Bluetooth settings, let me actually go into see more. Just notice these animations everywhere. You get to see these animations and let me tell you the sound quality via Bluetooth or the headphone jack is working perfectly fine. The sound quality again is great. I have been receiving calls and stuff with this Bluetooth headset, the Bo Rockers 335, which I reviewed on the channel and that is working perfectly fine here. No issues whatsoever with even music or calling. Everything is working fine via Bluetooth or even I have tried it with the 3.5 mm jack. That too works fine here. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, there is the AOSP keyboard right here, which is present by default, but I did disable it. And here I am using the Gboard separately. So I had to install the Gboard separately as far as I remember. And we have the system profiles and stuff. You can turn it off if you want to. In the gestures, we have only three things, but you can get the navigation gestures in the customization, which I'll show you later on. In the updated setting, this is how it looks like. We have the C Android version 7.10 right here. And it shows sweet but this is actually sweet in the maintainer's name is lavish kumar and pranav vashi so huge thanks to the developer for this amazing rom and right now let me just jump into the best thing for this particular rom which is this anx camera and here this is how it looks like yes it takes a little like one two seconds to actually open up but once you open it this is how it looks like and of course, I have taken multiple pictures with it and the quality with this ANX camera is just flawlessly good. Well, I have tried to test everything like the pro video mode also. That too is working fine with 4K 30fps options. In the video setting also, you can get 4K 30fps of course. And even the front camera video and stuff, if you want to see that, let me actually show you. Yeah, the front camera video is working perfectly fine. Even like for taking photos, the front camera is working perfectly fine. I'll have some samples on your screen if you want to see the camera samples. But yeah, the camera quality over here is just insanely good. And even for the rear camera, let me show you. We have this wide angle lens and the 2x telephoto zooming option. So everything like that is working fine. Also, this is the super macro mode, this flower option. So yeah, the super macro, let me actually show you. So yeah, as you can see, the super macro as well is working perfectly fine, no issues whatsoever. Now, my biggest concern was the portrait mode, but here portrait mode as well is working fine with the rear camera as well as with the front camera. As you can see, I did take a couple of pictures and let me actually take a quick picture over here. So yeah, portrait mode pictures also comes out really great. The quality is great. They are like, let me show you actually in the info, they are 16 megapixel photos. So yeah, even portrait selfies are working perfectly fine. The edge reduction is working perfectly good. So yeah, this ANX camera is completely from like latest MIUI. Let me show you in the more settings, there is the 64 megapixel mode. And if I actually go into the 64 megapixel mode, so I just took a photo in the 64 megapixel mode. Let me just open it. And of course, I'll try to have a sample in your screen or I'll just show you right here. Let me go into the info. This is a 64 megapixel photo. And as you can see, there is a file size, which is about 20 MB. And right now, let me show you by zooming in. in. And you can see the details over here, how much details it has captured. The 64 megapixel photos are working perfectly fine. As you can see, there is a little white hair kind of stuff. You can see huge amount of details with these photos. 61 megapixel mode is working perfectly fine here. So yeah, there is no problem at all with this ANX camera. And that is the one amazing thing that I am liking. Also, let me show you the Google camera situation over here. This is the Google camera Yonix version 7.3. With that, I'm using uh, XML, which is this one. Let me actually show you. This is the easy full Mi Note 10 Pro XML. With that, the Gcam also works perfectly fine. Let me show you for the front camera and stuff. And also, if I switch to the rear camera, there is a 0.6x. This is actually like not the 0.6x. This is the super macro, but yeah, this is what it says over here. That works fine. And we have the 2x, we have the ID4. That is actually the ultra wide lens. So yeah, the 2X is like weirdly the only the monochrome sensor, I guess. So yeah, you can use the 0.66 for the macro or the 1X is the main camera and the ID4 is actually the ultra wide. So you can use it like that. Of course, the front camera again in the portrait mode too works fine. Also, you can take night mode selfies or night side selfies. So those are working completely fine here without any issues. I have installed this Gcam separately and you get the ANX camera by default here. Again, this is the version 204, if you're noticing from right here. And this is pretty familiar looking settings panel, of course. Right now, let me show you the battery settings. Now, this is how it looks like. It has this animation again. If you tap here, you can see the full battery usage 
and here if you scroll down more we have the thermal profiles the battery manager and the power saver and something like that and we have the screen on time and the battery temperature showing up on the bottom as well but yeah i do miss the charging cycle seeing option but that i cannot simply see or the current battery capacity the design battery capacity or charging cycle everything is missing from this ui which i would love to see but yeah sadly those are not present here let me talk about the battery life a little bit i have been getting about like six plus hours of screen on time most of the time and i would say you can get those two i would say it will give you about seven plus two if you are using it not like too heavily here you can see from the screenshot i've got about four hours screen on time with that i had 50 percent juice left so definitely seven seven and a half hours of battery life will not be a problem on this particular rom of course i was running 120 hertz all the time in the display settings this is how it looks like now let me actually enable the dark theme for the time being so that i can show you this thing in redmi note 10 pro in dark face rom and stuff this particular settings is missing that is the dark mode kind of changing option you can change it to amulet black or charcoal black and the deep gray this is really great that you get to choose these options from here so that you can switch the dark to actually full amulet from right here but in other roms this option is simply missing so that really makes this rom a lot better from those other roms and the adaptive brightness and stuff and in the live display we have this display mode changing option as well and we have the color calibration and the picture adjustment from where you can change the hue saturation of course let me go back we have the styles and wallpapers and from here you get to see the lock screen clocks and here we have the samsung kind of clock then the binary and the is funny ones here we have the orono spectrum sneaky oxygen and tux and stuff but again no android 12 kind of clock that is simply missing i can use this with the fluid one too i like the fluid one this is how it looks like and of course this is how it will look like on the lock screen too but yeah let me show you the face unlock speed now and while i'm showing the face unlock here let me show you one more thing when it's using the front camera just notice there is that black border so that simply means for video calling and stuff you can definitely use it without any issues so there won't be any kind of huge halo effect around your screen while you are in a video call or something so that is really great that we get that black border in front of the camera and here let me show you i have one app that is locked this is the telegram app and let me show you the app unlock or the app lock is working perfectly fine here and even this google photos as you can see this is locked and it shows you can use the pin or use your face data or you can use your film bit scanner of course to actually unlock it so here in the grid settings we have up to six by six grid and in the styles you can create a custom theme and in the wallpapers of course you can like select particular wallpapers these are the default wallpapers that you will get over here and of course they all look pretty awesome but i have been using the wallp apps wallpaper i really like those so i'll put the apps link in the description which wallpapers i'm using back to the display settings here we have the screen timeout and the colors are set to boosted of course in the rotation settings we also get the 180 degree option if you need that and then we have the default and the peak refresh rate we have the 60 hertz default and the 120 hertz peak but yeah of course it stays 120 hertz whenever it's needed and we have the font size display size and the dpi customization the lock screen is there we have the always show time and info that is the always on display also we get to see the lock screen pulse option then the disable media cover art and the skip lock screen option is also there for the face unlock and stuff let me go back we have the double tap to wake and the wake up on plug disabling option and the enable blurs option but let me tell you if you enable this enable blur option you have to reboot the device once to take the effect and this is how the blur looks like over here as you can see the background looks very cool while it's blurred in the sound settings again we have all these animation and stuff if you scroll down more we have the me audio detect for the moment it's not opening okay so right now it has opened we have all these options like to change you can use it with the me earbuds or the youth edition and stuff all these me audio detect presets that we get and also we have this rock jazz pop etc and the hi-fi audio option is also there and of course you can use it if you're using a 3.5 mm headphone so let me jump into the cr droid settings and here you get to see all the customizations of the ui so it has huge amount of customization i'm not going to be able to show you all the things because it will be a very long video if i do that we have the status bar icons and stuff and if you want to see the brightness control yes they are working perfectly fine as you can see just sliding a finger on the status bar you can control the brightness very handy feature in my personal opinion again and we have the quick setting column and row number customization if you scroll down more we have the status bar gradient and stuff then in the lock screen we have the background blur then we have the double tap to wake and stuff and we have the power menu action the secure power menu is also there and then we have the customize your nav bar this is where you go in the stock nav bar settings and from here in the system navigation we have this full screen navigation settings and here we have the gesture bar length customization and stuff 
Let me go back. We have all the other customization if you want to customize things. And in the buttons, we have the power menu over here. Advanced reboot option is again there and the lock screen, power button, toggle torch. And let me go to the next one. The charging animation also shows up. And of course, 33 watt fast charging works perfectly fine here. And there is the rounded corners and I have it set to high. That's why you are seeing all these rounded corners. Let me go back. We have the quick setting tile and stuff. And we have the vibrate on connect, call waiting, etc. And here we have more customization like the pocket addiction and stuff. So yeah, huge amount of customization you get over here. This ROM is just one of the most perfect ROMs I have seen for the Redmi Note 10 Pro. And of course we have the Vaulty icon customization too, but this is how the Vaulty icon looks like. Talking about Vaulty, let me show you the stock dialer. You get this AOSP kind of stock dialer and this is how it looks like. But let me tell you there is the record option, but if you record, it sounds really weird. Let me just record one so that I can give you an example. <laughs> But yeah, Vault calling works fine, but the audio recording just sounds really, really weird. Now let me show you some more things like the IR cluster over here. If that is working, if you're worried about, as you can see, there is a light blinking. So that means the IR cluster is working perfectly fine. And I have tested this actually with my LED RGB lights. Also, one good thing here is that you get the safety net passed right out of the box. So that simply means you can use the banking apps over here without any issues right out of the box. You don't even have to flash magic. And of course, you don't need to flash magics for ANX camera because ANX camera is pre-built over here. Also, if you check the widevine security, this is L1 right now. So that means you can stream Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p in this ROM. And also the RAM management should be really great. I have been daily driving, no issues whatsoever that I have faced. I did face one time that it was the whole UI was getting a little more sluggish that I would like to be, but it was not like nothing was unusable. But yes, I did notice a little bit of sluggishness only once upon using this ROM for a long time now. So I just rebooted the device once and that fixed the issue. Other than that, I have never faced any issue. And here are the benchmarks on this particular build of the Sea Droid ROM version 7.10. Also with the CPU stress test. Also, I made this video where I showed you guys the Octav OS with the ANX kind of version 204, but with Magisk, it was acting up really, really weird. I could not even use the ROM. My Google account was getting signed out or something like that. So yeah, it was a really painful experience, but finally we found a ROM that is working perfectly fine. I know all the ROMs may follow this particular step and may go really, really well. And that is what I want to see more and more custom ROMs should be this stable on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. This Sea Droid ROM for me at least is again kind of a benchmark for the Redmi Note 10 Pro right now. This is the high end kind of experience I'm getting over here. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today. And please share this video with your friends if you feel like. I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.